Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here. And in today's video, I am going to be giving you a Bitcoin trade setup that I am going to be following through on in just a couple of hours. And I'm also going to be showing you why I personally believe that Ethereum is rallying all the way to $3,200 in the next 30 days. By the time you walk away from this video, you're going to have a much better understanding of where Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is and where Bitcoin and Ethereum are going. So if you do enjoy today's video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. But without much further ado, guys, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Guys, we're going to start with me looking at the Bitcoin chart. I'm going to show you why I think Bitcoin is primed and ready for a major breakout in the next couple of hours. But it actually all starts with this page right here. As you can see, Facebook's quarter one 2021 earnings call is coming up at 2 p.m. Pacific time today. That is in four hours from when I'm recording this video at 1 p.m. Eastern time. That is a huge deal because there is news going on. There is news that people are talking about that Facebook very well may be introducing Bitcoin into their own investment portfolio. It looks like one of the largest tech companies in the world might be about to get into Bitcoin. So let me show you on the chart exactly what that would look like because I am going to be trading this if that goes through. So let me go ahead and show you what's going on on the chart. Guys, Bitcoin is currently sitting right below its 20 daily exponential moving average, which is sitting around $55,500. We are currently trading at $54,700 and we are primed and ready for a breakout. We are sitting on a knife's edge just waiting for something to push us over so that we can start rallying. Guys, you already know that Ethereum is doing very well, which we're going to talk about here in a second, but Bitcoin seems like it might be about to follow suit. Whereas Bitco whereas Ethereum rather is already crossed bullish on the MACD, is sitting above its 20 daily EMA, Bitcoin has not crossed the MACD and it has not rallied above the 20 daily EMA yet. That might be about to change because if Bitcoin has any major bullish movement in the next couple of days, we are going to see a bullish cross on said MACD. Looking at the RSI, you can see that the RSI is sitting at 47. One of the things that we teach very often here on the channel is that between 50 and 70 is the prime territory for rallies. Once you break that 50 level on RSI, generally speaking, that means that you're moving into a rally. And if we move very much to the upside at all because of this news or for any other reason, it could push us in the direction of bullishness. Another thing to keep in mind, guys, is that there is major resistance at $57,000. So what that means is that we have a zone of resistance in between our 20 daily EMA and this $57,000 level. That level comes from these highs right over here and these lows right over here. $57,000 is also a big even, a level that many people are watching out for. So if we look out here on the daily chart, then we need to be watching for this zone of resistance in between fifty-five dollars and $57,000. If we are able to break through that, here is exactly how I am planning on trading this market. I'm going to go down to the four hour or down to the hourly chart, I'm going to show you. I am going to be entering a trade the moment this earnings call begins. This is going to be a webcast right before 2 p.m. I am going to enter a 10x long and I am going to stay in it until I hear something on that Facebook webcast about whether or not they are going in on Bitcoin. If I don't hear that they're going in on Bitcoin, I am exiting my trade and I'm going to cut my losses. But we believe it's a rumor, but we think that Facebook is going to be buying Bitcoin or that they already have and they're going to be telling their investors that. If that happens, that will be major fundamental news, and it'll be a trade that I'm making not based on technicals so much as fundamentals. I will keep you guys updated on that. Last thing I want to touch on on Bitcoin before we move on to my $3,200 Ethereum price prediction is the fact that Bitcoin, even if nothing happens on this Facebook news, is primed and ready for a potential inverse head and shoulders pattern breakout. You can see that the, the uh, neckline right up here is sitting in between $55,000 and $57,000. Our shoulder line is sitting right down here around $53,500. So if this news news does not result in a big breakout on Bitcoin, a small corrective movement down to $53,000, rallying again above $57,000 would institute an inverse head and shoulders pattern, which by the way, for any of you guys interested, has a price target of, you guessed it, $66,000. That would be a new all-time high, and that would be very exciting for the crypto space. So that's the trade I'm looking at. Let's go ahead and move on to the Ethereum chart, however, because I want to talk about the fact that we just hit all-time high on ETH, and I'm going to be telling you why I think this is just the beginning, and we're going to appreciate another $500. The new all-time high for Ethereum is sitting right here at $2,735. And if we look on the Ethereum chart, we will see that Ethereum currently finds itself inside 
of a rising trading channel. You can see it right here. We have our uptrending levels of resistance at this point and our uptrending levels of support at that point. Right now, Ethereum is trading against this resistance. Ethereum has two options. Obviously, it can go up or down, but more specifically, it could either reject here at this level of resistance and pull to the downside, more than likely dropping all the way to the, uh, the $2,300 region because that is where our support trend line is, or it could break to the upside. The question is, which one is it going to do? So let's go out to the daily chart and let's do some analysis on that. Number one, guys, I want to show you the 20 daily EMA, and this is the first reason why I believe Ethereum is going to $3,200. Ethereum is sitting above the 20 daily EMA when Bitcoin fell below it, when Cardano fell below it. Now, Cardano's back up above it, and we see that Binance Coin, another cryptocurrency somewhat similar to Ethereum, not really, they do have their own smart contracts, is above it. If we look at Ethereum, its 20 daily EMA says that it is in a strong, strong rally. Just look at the direction of the 20 EMA. This is something people don't look at very often, but look at the direction of the moving average. The direction of the moving average is pointed very much to the upside. On Bitcoin, it is pointed very much to the downside and starting to level out. On Ethereum, the fact that it is pointing up is very bullish for this cryptocurrency. The next reason why I believe that Ethereum is going to head towards $3,200 is the fact that we have a bullish MACD cross in play. In fact, I've gone ahead and drawn the last five times that we've had bullish MACD crosses on Ethereum, and I'll save you the heartache of going through all of them and showing you how much we rallied, but I will show you this. The smallest of the rallies that followed in the last five uh, rallies was this one right here where we rallied roughly 21% within seven days of crossing bullish. Here is where we have gone so far. So far, we've rallied 17%. So let's get this straight. The absolute smallest rally of the last five bullish MACD crosses was a 21% rally. We haven't even moved that far yet. The average of those rallies is more like 40 to 50% following a bullish MACD cross. So let's look at the chart, and I will show you how that constitutes a $3,200 uh, $3, Ethereum. And then I have one more reason to add on the top. If we have a price target up at $3,200 and we had our bullish MACD cross right here, I'll put a vertical line through it so you can see when it happened, then for us to go from $2,300 to $3,200 would be a 37% return. You're going to see where $3,200 specifically comes in a second in my third reason, but this is one of the reasons why I believe we're going to head even farther to the upside. So all of that leads me into my final point on Ethereum, and that is the fact that this trading channel that it's in constitutes a bull flag. And bull flags are very important because they do give us a direction and a probability of where the market is going to go. This bull flag starts back here on March the 25th when we bottomed out at $1,500 on ETH. If we use this flagpole and extrapolate in the way that we are supposed to do based on technical analysis that you guys can learn with the link in the description box down below in the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy, you will find that this flagpole pushes us straight up to $3,200, and that is where I get that number from. Guys, I think in the next 10 to 14 days, probably sooner than that, to be quite honest with you, we are going to be breaking $3,000 and rallying to $3,200. Now, that being said, we're probably going to have a bit of resistance at $3,000 simply because it's a big even, might be a little bit hard to get through, but I think we're at least going to go to $3,000, more like $3,200 in the next few days. If you're looking for a trade setup on that, guys, quite frankly... Any time is a good time, in my opinion. Just make sure that if you're entering a long trade, that we broke that level of resistance that we talked about earlier. If we don't do that, then you want to be careful on entering a long trade when we're already bent, when we've already moved to the upside 20% in the last four days. So, guys, that's my trade setup on Bitcoin. That's what I'm going to be looking to do, and that is also my Ethereum price prediction. Tell us in the chat and in the comment section down below what did you think of that trade setup, and what do you think of the Ethereum price prediction that we've done in this video, guys? I want to hear it. Tell us in the comment section down below. Seriously, I do read all of the comments. Make sure to like the video if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel. We are fast approaching 100k subs. I've been wondering for a long time if we we're going to beat Bitcoin to 100k and it looks like we're going to. Thank you so much for everyone who has joined in the last week. We have 7,000 subscribers in the last seven days. That is awesome. Thank you so very much. Guys, that is going to wrap it out for today's video. Before I go, though, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching, as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh,